Like most battle manga, Naruto has been censored when adapted into anime, which is a very common practice to make the anime appeal for much larger and international audiences, and many times this censorship doesn't really affect the story or the way you are interpreting things. The amount of blood is usually reduced, but it's, I mean, it's just blood. Sure, it may be more impactful if there's more of it, but if there is more blood in the anime, would that really make a big difference? I would argue it wouldn't. So, yeah, usually censoring violence is not a terrible thing, but there are some scenes that are particularly brutal in the Naruto manga that are much more censored than the usual let's reduce the amount of blood we're going to show. And I'm referring to the original Naruto anime produced by Studio Spirod, not something that was altered for another country or another TV network that would want to censor things even further. There are several examples of that, but this video is much more a direct comparison between between the manga and the anime. And I'm gonna be listing 31 scenes that were heavily censored because of their violent nature in the manga. Number one, we start off right in the beginning in the bell test. When Sasuke tosses those shuriken when Kakashi is talking to Naruto and he is hanging upside down that tree, in the manga, we see the shuriken hitting Kakashi in the face while he was smiling and caught completely off guard, quote unquote. I mean, he let himself get hit so that he could substitute later. This scene is very graphic in the manga because we see the shuriken piercing all over his face and body, but in the anime, it's really quick and we don't really see the shuriken and kunai piercing him. Number two, also in the bell test, when Kakashi uses a genjutsu on Sakura and shows Sasuke hurt to make her feel fear and to make her understand that shinobi life is not a walk on the park, Sasuke is very, very, very hurt. In the manga version of the genjutsu, he has several kunai and shuriken piercing all over his body, one of his legs is twisted, and the anime anime version is much more mild, he has a few kunai, a little bit of blood, his leg is normal, so the illusion of Sasuke is way more screwed up in the manga. Number 3, Kakashi's fake out death versus the demon brothers is much more mild in the anime. Yes, we understand he's being turned into mush, and in the manga we also see just a dark outline of his body when he's exploded, but still, it's more gruesome than the anime. <laughs> Number 4, in the Kaiza flashback, Kaiza is in Nari's dad, for those who don't remember, in the Land of Waves arc. When Kai is captured by Gato and his thugs, they hang him in a cross, and in the anime we just see his arms very hurt and purple. Not something too bad, but in the manga he actually didn't have arms in that scene, which was way more impactful and disturbing. Number 5, when Sasuke saves Naruto from a barrage of needles from Haku and then he goes down. The shot when Sasuke is standing in front of Naruto, having tanked the needles for him is much more gruesome in the manga. He has much more blood, many more needles, we see several needles all around his neck piercing him through. And yes, there are needles in the anime as well, but it just doesn't feel as visceral as the manga does. Continuing with the Land of Waves arc, number 6 is going to be Kakashi's Raikiri on Haku, which is just way more violent, bloody, and brutal in the manga, if I'm being honest. We see Kakashi's arm passing through Haku's body, an explosion of blood on Haku's, Kakashi's, and Zabuza's faces, just way more violent in the manga. Number 7, the way Zabuza kills Gato in the manga is, let's just say, a little bit more violent than in the anime. <laughs> like, it's not bad in the anime, but it doesn't have a lot of blood, and when Zabuza pierces the kunai on Gato's body using his mouth, he just kind of falls off the bridge. In the manga, however, Zabuza kind of cuts his head off. This detail is completely censored in the anime, and yes, it's also a dark outline in the manga, we don't see the actual thing being done, but it's pretty much completely implied, and it's just a much cooler way to kill Gato, if I'm being honest. Also, in this very same scene, the way Zabuza is pierced by dozens of spears and swords by Gato's thugs, it's just much more gruesome than the anime. <laughs> Number 8, moving on to the Chunin exams, when Orochimaru faces Sasuke and Sakura in the Forest of Death. When they see that vision of them dying, they actually get kunai spears on their foreheads in the manga. And yes, we do get something like that in the anime, but they are all dark. It's a weird looking outline of the characters.
characters, not the actual thing happening, which is less impactful, but it's not that big of a deal. Number nine, Gara crushing rain ninjas. In the manga, we actually see them being turned into mush. In the anime, sure, I mean, they explode with the sand coffin and sand burial routine, but the blood is black, and it's like, I mean, is that blood or it's just kind of weird? Very deliberate censorship not to make the blood look red. And yes, obviously the manga is black and white, but in the colored version, we do see the blood all red and stuff, and it looks much more like a gruesome pile of flash being exploded. Number 10, the way Zaku lose the fight against Shino is way, way more brutal in the manga because we actually see his arms exploding and one of his arms is blown off his body. We don't see that at all in the anime. Number 11, Dosu's death on the hands of Gara again is much more brutal. Yes, it's kind of off screen, but we do see Dosu's body clawed off and absolutely destroyed by Gara's partial transformation of Shukaku. We just see his hand with a little bit of blood in the anime. Number 12, before Gara goes and fights against Sasuke in the final round of the Chunin exams, a feudal orphan from the land of Grass sends two of his goons to go and kill Gara because he bet on Sasuke and obviously he wanted to win the bet. And the guys didn't want to kill Gara at first, they just arrived there and said, oh, you better throw the fight because <laughs> if you don't do that, it's not gonna go so well for you. We're gonna, you know, kind of kill you later. And then Gara says, oh yeah, <laughs> let's see who's gonna kill who. And then he slaughters them very thoroughly. And the scene is just absolutely <laughs> much more violent in the manga. We see the mangled bodies and the blood thrown into the hallway with the sand and all that. It's very toned down in the anime, absolutely censored. And to be honest, this is a really bad censorship because this makes us feel much more scared for Sasuke as he is about to fight this dude that just killed two Chunin like he was nothing and completely obliterated them. And the violence factor just makes things way scarier here. Naruto and Shikamaru witnessed that scene and they were terrified. Naruto even wanted to stop the fight because he was afraid Sasuke was gonna get exploded by his Garasan. 13. When the invasion of the Leaf Village starts and the Sound Ninja attack the Leaf Ninja in the arena, Kakashi kills two guys that are about to kill Sakura. In the anime, that looks pretty normal. I mean, Kakashi just kind of slashes two guys with kunais, but in the manga, he literally pierces both kunais, one in each of the guys' heads. It's a pretty violent scene. <laughs> Number 14. When we see Orochimaru's flashback in the manga, his lab is filled with corpses. It's pretty damn disturbing. In the anime, they are completely cut out. We just see weird looking metal walls in his lab and that's it. 15. After Orochimaru loses the ability to utilize his arms because of the Reaper death seal, we get a scene of him in the shower <laughs> and it's way, way worse in the manga because we see his arms completely destroyed and purple with all those wounds and also much more blood in the manga. In the anime, yes, that scene also happens but not as impactful as it is in the manga. Number 16. In the search for Tsunade arc, they censor a very strange scene to me because, yes, it's violent, but it's not that violent. And I'm referring to the scene where Naruto uses his Rasengan for the first time against Kabuto. Now, it's not the Rasengan itself that's censored, it's what Naruto does before he lands the Rasengan. He catches Kabuto's kunai with his hand, and in the manga, the kunai literally pierces his palm and exits through the back of his hand. And that's how Naruto grabs Kabuto arm, but in the anime, the kunai just kind of goes in between Naruto's fingers, and yeah, it cuts Naruto's hand, but it's definitely not as violent, and you don't see that sacrifice that Naruto's doing to protect Tsunade as much, because the wound is not as bad, which actually makes a difference, and this is not that big of a wound anyway, it's just his hand, like, you could have done the kunai piercing through it completely, not just cutting in between his fingers. Number 17, in the Neji versus Kitomaru fight, there's a point where Kitomaru is pelting Neji with those massive arrows with his second stage of the curse mark, and one of the arrows pierces Neji's torso. And the aftermath of that blow is very catastrophic for Neji in that fight. I mean, he still wins the fight, but that's a lot of damage. In the manga, we see a literal gaping hole on Neji's torso.
torso, but in the anime, we just feel like, oh man, it's a little bit of a bruise, whatever. And that shot made a difference in the manga. That was weird in the anime because we just think like, I mean, I mean, I guess that hurts, but it's not a big of a deal. But in the manga, it looks really serious. Number 18, in the Shikamaru versus Tayuya fight, Tayuya uses her flute genjutsu to affect Shikamaru. And in the anime, I mean, he just kind of melts away. And it's pretty cool, but in the manga, we see Shikamaru melting away in the genjutsu and then his bones appear as his skin is dropping off his arm. It's more gruesome and brutal, but it doesn't make that much of a difference, to be honest. Number 19, Kimimaru's entire jutsu arsenal looks much more disturbing in the manga. He has to actually open up his skin to remove the bones off his body, and I mean, it's just cooler, to be honest. It's not terrible in the anime the way they do it. The way the skin kind of follows Kimimaru's bone is not terrible, but it's just weirder, and it suits the character better in the manga, because he's supposed to be a freak of nature. Number 20, when Sasuke shoves the Chidori and Naruto's chest during their fight in the Valley of the End, well, let's just say the scene is more brutal in the manga. We see Sasuke's hand piercing Naruto's body, we see a lot of blood, and in the anime we just see a Chidori emerging out of Naruto's back, and the lightning kind of covers the entire wound, which actually kind of makes more sense, because we don't see the Chidori lightning in the manga, so this is a change I can actually get behind. It looks actually cooler with the lightning coming out of Naruto's back, even though it doesn't look as brutal. Number 21. Moving on to Naruto Shippuden, when Sasuke, Karin, and Sugetsu go after Jugo in his prison, we see a prisoner that's supposed to be Jugo. Kishimoto's trying to fool us and say, oh, this guy's Jugo, he's dangerous. And he's actually not Jugo, but the page this dude using the second stage of the curse mark appears in is the most gruesome, brutal, and violent page slash panel in the entire series by a long shot. I mean, it looks like an attack on Titan page, to be honest, because it's insane. We see this random guy that kind of looks like Jugu, you know, Kishimoto's trying to fool the audience, and he absolutely obliterates several prison guards and other prisoners as well, and the entire page just looks brutal. I mean, what can I say? Look at this here. And this scene is completely censored in the anime. There's no blood at all. Just the guards laying on the ground and a few craters around the walls in the ground, but no blood at all. Like, it's even weird because sometimes, I mean, they're going to reduce the amount of blood and violence, but they're still gonna show some blood and stuff to say, oh yeah, this guy is violent and stuff, but no. And here, they just were like, no, I mean, this panel is way too much. We're just gonna tone it down substantially. Number 22, Killer Bee's Lariat on Sasuke is pretty violent in the anime, but it's more violent in the manga, let's put it that way. <laughs> we see Sasuke's chest opened up more clearly in the manga, and it's a very powerful blow. It spills a lot of Sasuke's blood, and I mean, Jugo has to become a child to heal him, so. Number 23, when Nagato uses Rina Tensei to revive the Leaf Village, he pukes blood and a pretty decent amount of it. That's in the manga, because in the anime, he just drools, which is just weird. Number 24, when Danzo's heading to the Five Kage Summit, a few rogue ninja attack him, Fu, and Tarune, and the way Danzo deals with them in the manga is just more brutal. The blood and the gashes that he deals with his wind style against the ninjas is more violent, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Number 25, when the Raikage punches Sasuke's ribcage Susano, bypassing the Amaterasu shield and he tosses Sasuke away with a punch, the shots in the manga has way, way more impact. We see Sasuke's neck bending, almost looking like it's gonna break, Sasuke's eyes are bulging, and in the anime, I mean, he just kind of shoves Sasuke away, we don't feel the impact of the blow. The situation just seems way worse in the manga for Sasuke because of the attack he just received, and not very dangerous in the anime. And yes, this scene is not terribly violent. I mean, Sasuke does bend his neck a little bit, and it's ugly to see, but it's not like, I mean, oh, you can't show that in the anime. This is much more a problem with the animation quality than with censorship, because this particular shot of the Raikage punching Sasuke was done in a two-page spread, an extremely impactful moment in the Naruto manga, and in the anime, it's really quick. We barely see Sasuke taking damage, which is a problem because Sasuke's supposed to be in trouble in this situation. We don't feel like he's in too much trouble in the anime. 26. When Danzo is fighting Sasuke and Sasuke grabs Danzo with his Susano hand, he gets pissed with Danzo because Danzo is talking crap about Itachi and he explodes Danzo with a Susano hand. But that scene is not very impactful in the anime because there's just, I mean, a couple of drops of blood coming.
coming out of the Susano hand in the manga, like he explodes Donzo. We see a lot of blood. And this scene is actually done much better in the 2022 Road to Naruto trailer adaptation thing where we see this scene again and there's way more blood when Sasuke explodes Donzo with the Susano hand. Number 27, Obito's rampage on the Mist Village, the flashback. It's pretty brutal in the anime, but it's more brutal in the manga, especially the last shot with those swirling tall branches coming up towards the moon and we see several mist ninjas twisted and tangled in the wood style and completely destroyed and mangled. It's very gruesome in the manga. We don't see that with as much detail in the anime. Number 28, Neji's death. I mean, just the impact fuels way more violence in the manga. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Number 29, Madara losing his arm to the tail beasts. So Madara comes back via Rina Tensei and is fighting the tail beasts blind. All nine of them put their tails together and essentially slap Madara with them at the same time. Madara Susano is destroyed by them and he loses an arm. In the anime, I mean, he loses the arm too, obviously, but it feels like Madara doesn't even have blood inside of him because the arm just flies off and he's not even bleeding, doesn't feel very violent. In the manga, we do see plenty of blood when that happens around Madara, around his arm that's missing and his arm flying off as well. It's an overall far more violent scene. <laughs> Number 30, when Madara gets blasted by Might Guy's Night Guy, half of his body explodes and we kind of see that in the anime but it feels much more impactful and destructive in the manga. A lot more blood, also blood on the divine tree behind Madara, half of his body missing. When we get a close up on Madara's face, he's much more wounded. Unfortunately, the anime didn't do a good job representing the power of Night Guy. Number 31, Sasuke and Naruto's arms missing. Well, the final shots between Naruto and Sasuke in their final fight in the Valley of the End is more violent in the manga. We see their arm stumps much more clearly, we see way more blood, and it does feel more impactful that way. But it's not bad in the anime, I would say. It's just, you know, a little toned down. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, that really helps a lot, and watch this other Naruto video right here, it's a really good one. More differences between the manga and the anime. Thank you so much for watching, guys.